美国西部时间下午三月十三日十三点三十分，北京时间三月十四日凌晨三点三十分，新浪亲历变革中的美国前方报道组来加州政府驻旧金山市办公大楼，独家对话了加州参议院副执行主席于印良博士。于印良博士，美国旧金山华人，二零零六年十一月四日高票当选加州一百五十六年历史上第一位华裔参议员。他对此次的金融危机是怎么看的？整个加州将如何化解遭遇到的困难与挑战？金融危机究竟对美国居民生活带来了怎样的影响？我们来听听他是怎么说的。So what do you think are some of the ways to create new jobs? That's correct. I, I, I mean, one of the value that we have in、uh, California and United States is that we have tremendous um, uh, 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 privacy, copyright, intellectual property laws. And so, with that, I think many of the biotech companies, many of the high-tech companies, I think, are willing to really work with us in uh, 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 expanding their ability to do the kind of research that they would like. And so, there's a tremendous opportunity、uh, for us to, I think, grow more jobs. Getting some of the、uh, capital from China to invest in these、uh, kinds of company, I think, would be a tremendous boon. Uh, to our economy, and more importantly,、uh, generate more jobs、uh, in this、uh, particular area. As more and more people are getting laid off, how are you going to help those people who lost their jobs and those people who have no home to live in? Like I read news saying that some government has already been providing camps for those homeless people. Well,、uh, one of the things that we are trying to do is to、uh, expand the unemployment benefits. Uh, it is extremely important that while individuals have lost their job, that we at least provide them with some revenue so that they can keep their home,、uh, put food on the table, take care of their children, and so on. So I think、uh, expanding the unemployment benefit is extremely important.、Um, we also have a lot of resources to retrain、uh, some of the workers so that they have new skills. Different skills that they can, you know, they're available to do other kinds of jobs. And then I think finally,、um, you know, one of the things that we should、uh, be doing is to, again, as I indicated earlier, we need to generate new jobs、uh, for these individuals. The stimulus package that the uh, uh, president put out, the stimulus package that we in the state put out, I think the combination of that will help. I think increase the ability of many individuals. Who、um, either are unemployed now to be really employed, and then those individuals who are unemployed to get them back into the、uh, construction business and related business to that. How would you evaluate the stimulus package of the new administration? Well, it, it's a tremendous opportunity. I, I think one of the major things that we've got to do is to make sure that the dollars go. Um, uh, and, and, and are used wisely, that we don't waste any money at all.、Um, having this particular stimulus package is a tremendous opportunity to get people to start building roads, building buildings, uh, building um, uh, uh, stores and schools. So there's a lot of、uh, um, ability now within the stimulus package to do a lot of infrastructure work that's been sorely needed. I think, in addition to that,、uh, as you know, there are all kinds of different earmarks. Now, people uh, uh, complain about these earmarks, but the reality is that、uh, whether or not they are earmarks or not,、uh, what you end up with is the ability to provide more services for the children,、uh, for education, for the sick and、uh, the seniors. So, there are other opportunities within the stimulus package. Provide jobs for other groups of individuals. I think that's also important too. What are some of the problems that needs to be re- resolved immediately, or some things that need to be done but haven't been done so because of the constraint of money? Well,、um, one, one of the major problems right now is that、um, we cannot, you know, grow our economy fast enough because given the, the, the tremendous downturn out of our economy. Uh, we cannot somehow turn that around right away, and the fact that we're not able to turn that around right away, that means that more people are going to be hurt, more people are going to be unemployed, and so the major limitations right now is that there is a lack of confidence on the part of consumers、uh, to, to, you know, to purchase, to borrow, 
uh, to um, uh, uh, increase their uh, expenditures and that's the major problem and unfortunately there are so many people who are unemployed now and so many other individuals who may not be unemployed but they are worried as to whether or not their jobs is going to still be there two weeks down, three weeks down, a couple months down. And because of the lack of that confidence, then people don't want to buy anything and they don't want to take that chance. Yeah, as you just mentioned that more and more people are losing confidence nowadays. So how to rebuild the confidence of people? How to make them believe in the American dream again? Well, I think part of the um, uh, confidence uh, is that uh, everybody knows that there is a plan to get us out of this uh, particular uh, uh, doldrum. Mm -hmm. uh, that you have a president who's committed to working hard to change the way in which uh, things have been working. Um, that there is a good sense in both the federal level and state level that we are interested in turning this economy around. Uh, building more jobs and building opportunities for individuals. I think that when people understand that there's a commitment to that, uh, then there's a sense that, well, gee, maybe five years down the road, two years down the road, one year down the road, or even a couple months down the road, that this economy will turn around. And so long as you have that sense that the economy will turn around, I think there is a willingness of people to go out there and buy uh, and, and take care of their family and buy the little extra things that will make their children a little bit happier. Uh, make their home a little bit better. So, so long as there's this confidence that things are going to get better, then you're going to find that there is interest in uh, uh, buying things and making things better. People always say that crisis makes people think more about their lives, about the world around them. So what do you think would be the biggest change that this crisis is going to bring to the country and to the people living here? Well, you know, I you know, I think one is that there's going to be greater oversight um, uh, of government on every aspect of things. I think, unfortunately, uh, so many things that happened uh, that 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 caused this economic downturn was because uh, government was not watching. Mm -hmm. That government basically assumed that the market forces would take care of the problem, and in fact, that did not happen. Uh, there was too much trust in a lot of people that they weren't going to do the right thing. They were not going to sell mortgage to people who could not afford it. Uh, that they were uh, that 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 there was going to be individuals out there who were just going to constantly uh, try to make a fast buck. And 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 so as a result, how uh, what what has happened is that many many individual now are a little bit more careful and I think that that is going to be a good thing for the US economy.